The previously unknown surprise will be revealed shortly. I'm out in the Forerunner Urban Lander today. Urban Lander, I call it that because it's actually just a 96 Forerunner that I outfitted with a sleeper cab in the back, took out the back seats, and put a bed back there and some storage so that way I can go on land or I can go off land and go camping and vacationing and recreating and such. But anyway, last week I think I alluded to the fact that I got a little surprise for everybody I wanted to show you. You can probably see it out the back window right there. Some of you, I think, guessed it. Some of you would think that I was going to just carry my Grom around. I used to have a Grom 125 Honda and I got rid of that because I didn't like it and I'll tell you the reason why later. But anyway, I'm going to show you my a new toy and we're going to go out to a state park here. It's really bad air quality that we've been having in Las Vegas. Because of that, I don't feel like going up to the mountains or anywhere far because it's worse up there. So we're going to go someplace where they have some road track and they have some off-road track and I'm going to test this out a little bit to see if it does what I want it to do which is just to be a nice little trail bike for on the street when I'm visiting some city or out on the trails when I'm out in the mountains or the desert or wherever I may be camping. I'm going to take you along with me but before I get there I'm going to grab a sandwich my favorite from Capriati's so I'll have something to eat out there because they're also not allowing anybody to have any fire even propane to cook with where I'm going so I have to bring my own food and we'll just sit down we'll talk about my new toy and uh, I'll show you a few things e-bike this is called a juice scrambler actually it's the juice camp scrambler meaning that it has these kind of off-road tires helps you get around and I'll take it off of there and we'll take a look at it that's gonna be the urban landers new little friend right there it's gonna be the juice camp scrambler e-bike I hope no pigeons or ducks come over to eat my food. That's what I ordered. It's called a bobby. And it's like a Thanksgiving meal on a bun. It's got turkey, cranberry sauce, stuffing, mayonnaise on a really nice soft white bun. It's really good. So I haven't had dinner yet. I'm going to eat a sandwich while I'm doing that. Oh, clown. You know, I think I'll eat half now and then I'll go for a ride while the sun is still up because it's about time for the sun to go down. While I'm doing that, why don't you watch the unboxing of the Juiced Camp Scrambler that I did at home the other day and I'll finish my sandwich. I ordered this Camp Scrambler on a Friday and it arrived on the following Wednesday so it's pretty quick from San Diego, California to Las Vegas, Nevada. Plus they had them in stock. Here I'm just cutting off the strapping and it's got all kind of foam in there and it's very good quality. Here's the front wheel. It's packed separately and some more foam and a very nicely packed frame. So it's very easy to assemble. The first thing that I wanted to do is cut off all these zip ties and get the foam off of there. Then I wanted to remove the battery, which is just done by a key with a very nice lock. It seems to hold it very securely. I wanted to make sure that it was charged up, so I just took it over and put it on the charger while I was finishing assembling the bicycle. 
The first thing I put on was the handlebars because I wanted to have something to hold on to to keep this bike steady while I was putting on the front wheel. It's just four little Allen head bolts. Adjust it and tighten them up. Putting on the front wheel is pretty straightforward. Just make sure you pull out the little spacer from the front brake pad that is used as protection while it's shipped. Otherwise you're going to cause yourself some frustration. It's a quick release type of clamp on that most people are familiar with. Made it easy. The last thing I did was put the pedals on and know this, that there is a right pedal and a left pedal. They're marked on the ends and one goes counterclockwise while the other one goes clockwise. If your tires feel a little bit low, make sure you take care of that. Now to check out the fit and the adjustment of the handlebars and where the pedals hit me and everything feels right like it was custom made for me and I'm just a little bit over 5'10". Just a very quick walk around. It does have this click on and off rear tail light and a 1200 lumen front headlight that's very bright. These knobby tires are fantastic. That's why they call it the Camp Scrambler for off-road, and they're dampened by these shocks that are just spring. Very basic. The front sprocket is shrouded, I guess, for protection, and here's the controller. And while I'm at it, why don't I do that satisfactory pulling off of the plastic? I'll do it on the rear tail light as well, because I noticed that. And I noticed the battery tab, so I pull it off to take a look at how bright the rear light was, and it looks good. It's got this flash feature by clicking it twice. The seat seems quality. It's got a nice durable vinyl cover on it and the stitching seems very nice. It's got a firm feel to it which I prefer over a softer seat and if you look at it it's got this taper towards the front. More like a banana seat that you might have had on a stingray as a child and it keeps the seat out of the way of your thighs as you're pedaling. I prefer this half throttle over a thumb throttle and it's got three finger brake levers and I prefer this click shifter over the more traditional trigger and thumb shifter even though it's upside down which some people can't get over but it doesn't bother me this is a 52 volt type of unit and I chose the larger battery pack of 19.2 amps which does cost much more this bike does have a 7 speed Shimano rear cassette and derailleur put my camera on this chest strap to see how it works I have no idea got this new helmet I put a few accessories on it. I put this little rear view mirror on there so I can see where I'm going, where I'm coming from. Phone holder right here. Drink holder, which is very important. And I got the upgraded motor. 52 volts, 19.2 amp hours. So they say this will go up to 70 miles on pedal assist or 30, 35, somewhere around there. I have to check the specs to make sure, but on just full throttle without using the pedals. This will go up to 70 miles on pedal assist or 30, 35, somewhere around there on just full throttle without using the pedals. Well here I am, I'm trying some pavement and it's really smooth. Of course I've tried it before when I put it together. Whoa, what's that? Looks like a boat. My best friend in Minnesota's front yard looks exactly like this. And his neighbors probably hate him, but I don't think he cares. Going down. Going up. I will not be taking these jumps. So if you're wondering why I got the full helmet, this is the reason why. It's because I am often out alone by myself and I just don't want to take a header and be out here unconscious dying in the desert. But these are the kind of trails that I like for sure. Hard packed, established. Do you see that jackrabbit? It is. Oh, so nice. It's nice that it's quiet. It's nice that it's quiet for the most part. I remember when I had the Grom, sometimes, man, it would just, you know, just the noise. I bought it used, so whoever had it knocked the little baffle out to make it louder. You know, kids like to do that, right?
but it's nice that it's quiet. I can hear the whir of the motor, but that's nothing compared to a four-stroke or a two-stroke. And I don't disturb anybody. I drive by and people don't turn their heads and look at me except for wondering, you know, that inquisitive look like, what do you got there? Do you guys see that rabbit straight ahead to the left? Just a little bit right there. Let's go chase the rabbit. Chase the rabbit. I'm kind of liking the out off-road feel. So already I'm thinking this is a good decision. Because I like it. Let's see, can I tear across the grass here? Is anybody going to care? It's a lot of gopher holes. Very bumpy. Now, this is where I wish I had rear suspension, is with the gopher holes. Hello, gooses. Our goose. And just like that, I'm going 20, 20 miles an hour. You can see the sun straight ahead. You can see all the pollution out here. That's how come I'm not going anywhere this weekend, just because it smells smoky. My eyes are itchy. It's really not the best outing. You know, it's starting to get dark. I know the GoPro is showing it real light because I can see it here. But that's because the new GoPros, the 7 and the 8 at least, have very good night vision. I really smell smoke now. Soft sand does just fine. This is it's like picnic areas. Going downhill right now, about twenty five miles an hour. I've been working the back brake, which is the right-hand side. The front brake is the left-hand side. So in the dirt, I do mostly back brake, and I feather the front brake just to get some more stopping power. I don't know, let's pull this little hill here and see what we got. No problem. Oh, uh, people. If you're getting older like me, like I said, I'm going to be 60 years old this year. This is the way to go.
I don't know if the camera will do it justice, but a little dust getting on the brakes. If you take a look out that way, that's pollution. You know, that's not a beautiful sunset. Well, you know, I mean, stuff in the atm atmosphere makes for a beautiful sunset. Well, let's go back to the Forerunner, make sure nobody's breaking into it. Parks are notorious for that. Wow, this is miles and miles of very nice riding around. I think I wandered off the path. Now I'm back on the path. I'm trying to find where the heck I parked. I think it's over there. There's the Forerunner. There's my baby. I hope this wire hasn't kept going in front of here the whole time. I think it has been. I'm liking the Forerunner. I think it's a great platform. I'd highly recommend anybody to get something like this. Now, I'm not saying it has to be a Forerunner. You can use like a minivan or actually I would probably prefer a minivan if it had some ground clearance. But I like this because even though it's a two-wheel drive, it has enough ground clearance to leave the car campers behind and go to the less crowded places up the mountain or on a trail to where I can be by myself and that's when I'm happiest to get out of the city and get out of all the problems of the world. It's kind of an escape mobile. Let me show you the lights. Turn on the front one, you just hold the button. There you go. Look at that, huh? Very bright. Well, it's probably time for me to pack it up and head in. The reason why I got the e-bike, the reason why I like it, is because I liked it better than the Grom because the Grom had very small wheels, okay? And even though a lot of people take the Grom off-road and I put knobbies on it, for the small wheels and the much uh, the short wheelbase on it made for a very squirrely vehicle off-road. And I think that's kind of the reason why when I had it, I don't know if any of you were watching when I wrecked, but I wrecked that one and uh, twisted my ankle really bad, swelled up to about the size of a grapefruit fruit and I had to go through a few month recovery period it's fine now it feels like the you know it feels like it never even happened but bigger tires like this and a, a lighter vehicle along with a little bit longer wheelbase this thing feels much more stable off-road in sand than that Grom did even though the Grom had some fat tires too there's just something about having them bigger around and further apart that makes for a good off-road vehicle I'm all done for the day. I'm going to put my bike away. And I know people are going to ask about the helmet, so I'll tell you the brand of it, and I'll show you a little bit of my review and the reason why I got this particular type. Um, I'll just show it right now as we close out. Just in is the Scorpion EXO Covert motorcycle helmet. It's a convertible type of helmet, and the reason I got it is because in Las Vegas it gets very hot here and in the desert southwest, so I wanted something that I could change the configuration of it over time depending on how I felt like wearing it. In actuality, it's a top type of helmet that's DOT certified, and here it's in its open face configuration, meaning that it doesn't have the front face guard over it. The front mouth guard is not DOT certified and is more made for protection against rocks and bugs. And it does offer some protection against you scraping your teeth or chin skin against the pavement because it is tough material. It's made out of a more pliable type of vinyl feeling substance. It clips on over the front very securely with the help of a fastening system that employs neodymite magnets. I prefer the metal D-ring fasteners over the plastic snapping clips, and the inside padding seems to be done well. A recent feature of more modern helmets is this flip-down visor, which makes it have a stormtrooper appearance. 
It's probably not the best idea to purchase a helmet over the internet sight unseen, so try to make it to a cycle shop and try it on first before you order it. This can help you avoid having to return it later. However, my choice seemed to fit me just fine because I ordered it in the size I've always ordered motorcycle helmets, and it seemed to be true to size for me at least. And I like the way that it looks. Let's give you a 360. So, if you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe and ring the bell so you get future notifications. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.